All right, so if you're trying to get a store up and running without dealing with a million different tools or setups, Squarespace makes it stupidly easy. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process start to finish in about 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if you're selling clothes, prints, baked goods, a portfolio, whatever the case, this works for pretty much any kind of website. We'll be using Squarespace's two week free trial to build everything so you don't have to worry about paying for anything right away. That said, once the trial's up, you will need to grab a paid plan to actually launch the site. I'll cover those options later on so you know what you're getting into. For now, let's just focus on getting your store built. So to take advantage of that two week trial, you guys go into the description below below and click the link at which point it's going to take you to this page and once you're here make sure just click on get started it's as simple as that now on this page we're just going to ignore asking us about what our site is about instead we're going to go to the top right and click on i'm just browsing so this is the template page now on the left hand side you can filter what kind of template you're looking for based on the type of store and the industry or niche you're going for now over here, we can actually see the templates. Now, all we have to do is select a template that suits us. So for example, let's try Condessa. And from here, we can play around with these color presets. However, I wouldn't worry too much about this right now since we're gonna do this when we're editing this site. So let's just simply start with this design, at which point you all have to create your accounts. Once you guys have made your Squarespace account, it's gonna take you to the dashboard right here where you'll notice that there's a setup guide. Now I am your real, I wouldn't call it live action setup guide, but real setup guide, cause I'm a setup guy. I'm gonna stop saying those two words. So instead of using this, we're gonna go to the top right and get right into it. So on the left hand side, you'll notice a bunch of pages and features and settings that might be a little overwhelming. However, for this video, all we're gonna do is focus on the pages and styles when it comes to what we've got here. Now to edit your site, all you do is click on edit. So in our editor, let's get to work right away. So the tricky thing with Squarespace is that there's no structure. So there's nothing to really follow or to guide us in that sense. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make a site and then you can kind of get inspired by it or play off of it or completely ignore it and think that you have a better idea, which is great. You know, I want you guys to have some ideas yourselves. So first off, to edit text, you click on the text and then you have this toolbar that pops up. Now I already have some uh, text in my, uh, my clipboard, so we're gonna paste that. Now this is too large, so let's just drag it by the edges and make it smaller. You can also go to the heading right here and change the size if you'd like. So there's a couple of options. You can bold, italicize, and then change the color. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this text somewhere near the top as such. And then what we'll do is change the color. So let's go over here. Now, I don't like any of these palettes. I want it to be darker green. And then the following text is going to be a lighter green. So let's see what we got. Here. Oh, I didn't even notice. So that's also what you can do. You can highlight one part of the text and change the color that you want. So we'll leave it at that. And now what we'll do is we'll paste my text for this one as well. I came prepared, that's for sure. So this is my title. And what we'll do here is we'll condense that Not too much and then we'll change the color afterward. But first off, let's remove this. So click on it, trash it, click on it, trash it. And then we have our image. So with our image, we can play around with it. But first, before I explain that, what we'll do is transfer over our photo. So let me go to edit, remove it by going down here by the trash can, and then transfer over the photo that you do want. So, it should be in any time now. <clears throat> there we go. So we got that going on for us. So we'll place the image right underneath here. However, what we'll do actually is, you know, I have a better idea. Let's move this to the right hand side and then we'll place this a little higher. And to break up the blank space here, what we'll do is we're gonna go to add block. So this is where all of your elements are that you can see here, text buttons, forms, images, all that stuff can be added by that add block button. So what we'll do is we'll take this line and we'll place it right there. All right, so just the length of the image. 
something like that. A little longer. Okay. Now I want to change the color of this line. So the way we do that actually is we edit section, we go to colors, and then these are the color schemes that we can select from. Now our color scheme is a bright one. So we click on it and then we can go into the color schemes. So we have to look for a line. So instead of looking for it just by scrolling, I'm going to type in line and then we have to look for the exact one. So not that one, not that one line color so right now it's orange i want it to be black so you'll see that it changed and then we can go back to uh editing our text so with this we're gonna make it smaller okay ba -ba -ba. we'll just stretch it a little bit more all right let's use the let's use the heading so let's go to paragraph three and that's still too small i'm trying to find a nice balance Let's go back to paragraph two and we'll keep it at that. But in this case, what I'll do is I'm just going to bring it down there because it makes it a lot easier to align with what I have in mind. So that works. Dig into into nature. Now what we're going to have is I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to place it right underneath there. There we go. Let's move it around place it a little lower and then underneath that we're going to I mean I guess I could have also duplicated this text but I don't want to use the same font so what we'll do is we're gonna head back to my clipboard it would be a shame if I wasn't recording all this and we're gonna paste that now this is far too large so we're gonna go to paragraph three and make it smaller uh-huh if I could just grab the edge that would really help okay there we go and we'll just move this a little further down. But again, let's change this down one block if I can. There we go. So what I want to do actually is I want to make this black. So if I can just highlight all of it, it's a little tricky. There we go. I'm going to make this. Oh, it's already there. Black. And then underneath here, what we're going to do is we're going to make this green. So let's go back to our greens. Does that look better? Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so we'll keep that. So that looks pretty good. It matches. That's why I wanted this to be like alternating in color. Now I'm going to repeat this process. I'm just going to place the image underneath here on the right hand side and then the text on the left hand side. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my following section. So there is the second image. Now what I want to do is I want to close all this blank space. So let's just delete this. And now if we grab this icon and drag it up, you'll find that we can move the entire section, <clears throat> but it stops us. And the reason for that is because this whole section actually reaches all the way to the bottom. So all we do is drag it up a little higher ourselves and then that solves that problem. <clears throat> so we'll take this again and move it up higher. Now, I really like adding lines because it organizes things and that's something that's uh, you would find difficult to realize without a template. So the reason why I like templates with layouts that's strictly defined, like where everything should go is because it just makes everything smooth. You know, it doesn't confuse you as much. So what we've done now is we've established an entire section with individual lines and little blocks of text. So it guides your eye in a much more natural way. For this, we're going to remove as well. So we're completely not the entire section. If we click on the back, actually, you can remove the entire section, but we're not going to do that. So let's remove this, remove that, and then the text and the little icon. So what we're going to do is I'll show you one and then I'll do the other two myself. So we're going to have a little blog here. So at the top, we're going to add the text. So it's going to be called like readers readers favorites i didn't spell that right that's great totally butchering the entire english language so we'll make that smaller and then we'll move it in the center so this is actually going to be black and then underneath here we're going to place two blocks so the first one's going to be image and then underneath that we're going to have a text block or above that rather so the image is right there, text box like that. So what we'll do is head back over here. 
So we have five mistakes every beginner gardener does. Now I wanna align this in the middle. So we go right here, text alignment and center that. And underneath, we're gonna add a photo. So let's go back to our library and uh, just transfer over a picture. So we'll move this one, for example, I just need this to actually show up first. Move this one and then transfer over the image. And that's basically it. <clears throat> now, I'll show you the next step before I go ahead and make the other two uh, pictures. So underneath this, I'm gonna actually place a button. So the button is gonna be linking to like our, gonna be linking to our entire blog. So let me move this up once more and I'll add a button. So we'll do a two for one right here. So I'll take this button and place it right there. Should be just fine. And to link something, all you do is click on edit link and you find the page throughout your navigation. <clears throat> now, after I make this section, I'm going to show you guys how to make extra menu items and how to add pages to your site. And then we can link it to that. But right now, that's essentially how you can link things. It's not limited to buttons. You can click on an image, for example, and link it this way as well. <clears throat> but first, let me add the other two images and then we'll get onto that. Okay, so here are the two other sections. Now let me show you guys how to make pages and also add pages to your menu. So what you do basically is you go to the top of your sites and then hit edit site header. Now every single one of these items can be edited. So first off, let's change our header. So we go over here and we can click on the logo and our site title is currently our logo it's our stand in logo so what we'll do is we'll take our logo place it in here and then to reposition the header itself what we do is we can click on the header again go to edit design and where it says layout we have a bunch of layout options now the one i like to go with is the logo in the middle and now about we just make this logo a little bit larger by clicking on it and you might have noticed a moment ago that you can change the size now as for the menu, what we do is we click on it, we go over here, and you see that we have these three pages. Okay, so these are the three pages that we have available to us. Well, what we have to do is first save what we've got and then exit and go to pages, which is already open. But yeah, go to pages. Now, what we've got here is three menu items. Now, to add another menu item, we just make another page and we name it. So what do we have? Services work. Let's say blog for example. So our blog is made, we saved it, and now we have this set up as such. But we can also move around our items just by dragging on them and doing as such. So that's neat. Uh, now, what we can also do for the for pages that aren't on our menu is we can repeat that same process. So we're going to name another page and we're going to call it uh, blog two. Oh, that's not how you spell blog at all log two, and then we're going to save this. All right, so we're going to click and save it. So uh, let's head back to our home page. So if we click on our logo, it'll take us back to the home page and let's make our way down to this button right here. So we have to go back to edit and then we can access our settings. So click on this and then go to link. And now we'll find the blog as well as blog two. So for example, let's say we had a blog and this is where all of our blog posts are listed. Well, that's how we're going to link that. Now, if we want to change the color of the button, we have to go to our edit section up here and then find the color from our color scheme and then locate it that way. But we don't have to do that right now. I just wanted to show you guys that there are some settings that you can't change colors to uh, directly on the toolbar that we have here. Now, if we wanted to link these, we do the same thing. We just go over here, link it and then find our blog two, for example, and then we repeat that process. And if we were to go save this and exit, you'll see what I mean. So, oh, is it saved? There we go. And once we click on where is it? this image, it's gonna take us to that blank page. Of course, we don't have anything here. This is for you to fill out, but I just wanted to show you how to make pages and add things to your menu and then link them. Now you'll notice that I got rid of the excess content that we had below that came with the default theme because I want to talk about one last thing before we wrap this up and that is the footer. Now the footer is very similar to the header menu. I just wanted to mention how you don't exactly have a section for the footer menu like you do with the main navigation. 
So what you have to do in this case is make another page for that. And then you go to edit, you head all the way down to the bottom, you add a section. You can have a blank section if you want total freedom, but to show you what I mean, let's go with this one. And what you would do is you would say, for example, if you had like policies, so you would add your policies here, you would click on the block, edit, and then link that policy via the hidden navigation pages. And it's that simple. All right, so now let's talk about the plans. So if you're just getting started, I would personally recommend the Squarespace personal plan. There's no need to overcomplicate it at all. So it's got the basic things that you need. Solid templates, built-in SEO, mobile-friendly design, and you get a free domain for the first year. It's perfect if you just want to get your site up and running without messing around with extra features that you won't even use yet. And yeah, it's the cheapest option. So unless you're planning to launch a full-blown online store right out of the gate, there's no point in paying more. You can always upgrade later once you actually need the extras. So I recommend starting simple, see how it feels, and build from there. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have any further questions for me, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget about that two week free trial that can give you a lot of time to see whether or not Squarespace is for you. And you can find the link to that in the description below. At any rate though, thank you all so much for watching as always. And until next time, make sure to take care.